Hey everyone, today we're looking at the next type of categorical data using percent bar graphs. A percent bar graph displays categorical data based on the percentage or relative frequency, the percentage or relative frequency. It can be found by calculating the percent of each category and then representing each percent with a bar on a number line. You've already watched a video on how to as a refresher on how to calculate percentages. You've also already practiced finding relative frequency and calculating percentages. So the new part is actually representing it on a bar graph. So we have a few different types that you may see. You see that each of them actually have a percent in some way. Percentages are represented. The first type, it may have the actual word shown on the percent bar graph representing each type, or it may have a key and it could be color coded, and it could be a vertical percent bar graph, or it could have actual bars on the bar graph. But one thing that you really have to remember is these all represent percentages, not the number of students or the number of people or whatever you're using your data from, but it has a percentage. So you have to calculate the percentage when using these. We're going to go ahead and get started by reading a percent bar graph. Morton Middle School took a survey to determine which new elective should be added to the class offerings. The results are shown below. Based on what you see here, what percent of students chose debate? Debate is our first section. It starts at 0% and it ends at 30%. So 30% of students said that debate should be the new elective. What percent of students chose drama? Now some students may say, oh, drama, it ends at 50%, so it's 50%, but it goes from 30 to 50. So you have to subtract 50 minus 30 which gives us 20. So it's going to be 20%. Last one. What percent of students chose badminton? Now badminton goes all the way to the end. So it stops at 50 and it goes to 100%. So for this one, we're going to subtract 100 minus 50 to give us 50. So 50% 50 of students chose badminton. Notice that all three sections add up to 100%. A percent bar graph has to, add up, has to add up to 100%. So that's a good way to check your answer. Now we're going to go ahead and create a percent bar graph. Mr. Gomez surveyed all of his sixth grade classmates about their favorite pizza topping. Use the table below to sketch a percent bar graph and answer the questions. So we have four pizza toppings. We have cheese pepperoni, hamburger, and veggies, and they each have a number of students associated with it. So that means we're gonna to have to find a percent for each one. I will tell you right now that a common, common mistake is that students will see, oh, 60, and they'll go straight to 60% for the cheese pizza. And there will be an answer choice sitting there waiting for you that looks like that. But remember, this says number of students, and this is percent. So that means it can't be 60 unless our total is 100, but our total is not 100 here. Now, just to remind you from the last two videos that we need to use our percent proportion, percent over 100 equals the part over the whole, and we're gonna be using that to calculate each of these four percentages. Let's go ahead and start with our first one. Now, I like to go ahead and set it up and have the 100 because that stays the same. We know we're looking for the percent each time. And our whole amount actually will stay the same for each one because we're using the same data set. What is the whole amount for this data set? When you add up all four of the numbers of students, you get a total of 240. Now, this is a little bit different than before because this is going to be a little bit more difficult to find a direct relationship between 240 and 100, but you, but you can do that as an option. Okay, let's go ahead and start with cheese. Cheese is 60 over 240. 
Remember, you can cross multiply these if you want to, but they're pretty big numbers. So I'm gonna suggest that we simplify. But before we do that, you go ahead and calculate it using your strategy and decide what percentage cheese, the, what percentage of students chose cheese pizza. Whenever we simplify this, I know that they both end in zero, so that means we can divide both by 10, and we're left with six over 24. You can divide both of those by six, and that gives you, I'm actually gonna go down here, that gives you a simplified fraction of one fourth. Now, this may be one that you have memorized, that one fourth is 25%, but if you don't have it memorized, that's fine. We just have to see how do we get from four to 100? We multiply by 25. Now, if you got to this point, and we, that also means we would multiply one times 25 to give us 25. Now, if you got to this point and you wanted to cross multiply, you actually do the same thing. One times 100 is 100, and then you divide it by four. So either way, you have to find the relationship between them. So this is gonna be 25%. And to represent on the bar graph, we start at zero and we go to 25, which is right between 25 and 30. And we'll put the letter C there to represent cheese pizza. Okay, let's go to our next one. Now we said that the 240 stays the same because our total is 240. I'm actually gonna go ahead and write that over here that adding these up equals 240 so we can see that. Okay, our next one is pepperoni pizza and we have 132 students who chose pepperoni as their favorite pizza. Now, these are a little bit bigger numbers, but whenever you're simplifying them, and remember, you can cross multiply, but when you simplify them, start with numbers you know. Like, if you know that these are even numbers, you can divide by two. Now, I know we can actually divide these by four also, so I'm gonna go ahead and start off with that. When we divide by four, we get 33 over 60. If you divided by two, you would have gotten 66 over 120, and you can just keep dividing until it gets smaller. Now from here, we can also divide by three, okay, which would give us 11 over 20. Now if you also wanna use a strategy to find the greatest common factor first and then divide, that's an awesome strategy as well. So now we have the 11 over 20. So now we can see this relationship from 20 to 100. 20 times five gives you 100. So that means we would multiply 11 times five to give us 55%. So I'm gonna write that up here, 55%. And then on the bar graph, you're not just gonna go to 55% because we're not starting at zero. We're starting at 25. So that means we need to take our starting point of 25, add the 55 to know our ending point, which is going to be 80 whenever we add those together. So we're gonna draw a line at 80, and this represents the pepperoni pizza because from 25 to 80, that's 55% in there. Okay, let's go to our next one. Okay, our next one is hamburger, which 36 students chose. Okay, so for this one, looking at 36 and 25, I actually can tell that I, we can divide this by six. So I'm gonna start with six. You start with whatever you are comfortable with. So 36 divided by six equals six and then 240 divided by six equals 40. Now it's not simplified all the way, I can still divide by two, so let's see what we get. Divide by two, and I get three over 20. Luckily, I have the same relationship here. I already know I can multiply this by five, so I'm gonna do that to my numerator and my denominator. Let me erase my work over here. Three times five gives us 15, now, this time we're starting at the 80% mark, so we're gonna add 15 to 80 to get 95, and that's gonna be my stopping point because from 80 to 95, 15% is in between there. So that's gonna be H for hamburger. 
Now, since we're at the end, we can see actually how much space is left on our percent bar graph. And what's left is just 5% from 95 to 100. Okay, this was 15%. So we know veggie should be 5%, but we need to go ahead and solve this one to make sure because if it's not 5%, we know that we made a mistake somewhere. So it's actually not five there, it is gonna be 12 here, and then now we need to find the percent. Now when I see 12 and 24, I know that I can divide these by 12. So I'm gonna go ahead and go straight to that. Remember, you divide and simplify the best that you can, or if you have to cross multiply, that is a strategy also. 12 divided by 12 gives you one, and then 240 divided by 12 gives you 20. So again, same relationship, so that helps us out, times five, times five. One times five is 5%, 5 so it matches. Just remember to take this one section at a time. Wait, let me go ahead and label Ooh, V for, for veggie. Make sure to take it one, one at a time, and you have to find the percentage. So for this whole week, you're gonna be calculating lots of percentages. So whatever strategies you use in some problems, some of the strategies work better than others. And anytime you need to refer back to that percent um, review video, you can do that as well.